Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Fear is a interesting phenomena. Fear usually comes when we look into the future with a negative expectation. Sometimes there's residual fear though from experiences and we imprint that high emotional state to that fearful experience and all of a sudden we've got a phobia or we got what seems to be a phobia. Sometimes the fear is legitimate and sometimes it's not. If you're afraid of something like fear of heights, fear of water, fear of being on top of a mountain top or maybe a trail where there's a little cliff there and it frightens you, what you want to do is see if there's any logical reason to have that fear. Or maybe your fear is speaking in front of people. That's a lot of people's fear. In fact, more people are afraid to do that than they are to die. So fear is an interesting thing and it's usually built upon the complex equivalency of our experiences and who we are and what we know for sure and what we perceive a lot of times through the experience of other people just telling us about it and it creates fear, fear for us. So if you're fearful today, if you're fearful of getting audited by the IRS or you're fearful of talking in front of a group or you're fear of flying, these things are easily managed with phobia cures. I suggest you find somebody that knows neurolinguistic programming. They've got a phobia cure that's pretty bulletproof and it works most of the time. And if it doesn't work the first time, it always works by the second time. It takes about five to 15 minutes. And what it is is a re-imprinting of your nervous system and a recoding of that information that makes it non-fearful. Allergies work a lot the same way. In fact, we code information into our mind based upon our experiences. If we change the experience, we change the information that's stored in our mind. And here's the interesting phenomena. The last experience you have is going to be the dominant experience. So if you can replay these episodes, even in your mind by yourself and make logical sense out of it, that sometimes can start desensitizing the thing you're most fearful about, even if you had a bad experience before. Also a very nice way to help with that fear is to imagine that experience and then add elements to it. We call those submodalities, but see yourself going through that experience, adding a few cartoon characters and superheroes to it. You'd be surprised how it's going to change it the next time you think about it. And if you practice that and keep doing that, what's going to happen is that fear is eventually going to rewrite itself into a new pattern. It may not be perfect, but I can guarantee you it's going to be less than you feel without doing anything. So fear, most of the time, is perceived. And if, if you just look at the moment, the moment like right now, where we are right now, there's really nothing bad going on. It's always when we project into the future, and that's where the fear is, and that hasn't happened yet. So just tell yourself, that hasn't happened yet. Come back to right now where you have control of your destiny through your attitude, through your actions and your behaviors, and you're going to have fear under control. And also you're not going to perceive something bad happening to you most of the time. So until tomorrow, let's work on that fear. I hear a lot of people talking about it all the time. The more you talk about it, the more real you make it. This time, let's do something about it. And also, thank you for watching The Morning Jumpstart. All your feedback on the tune-ups and the jumpstart, I appreciate it. So keep me informed and let me know how you're doing. This is Dr. Gary. Until tomorrow, you have a great, fearless day. Bye-bye.